and welcome to the 2013 Bike Magazine Bible of Bike Test Roundtable Discussions. I'm here with Travis, Bryce, and Seb, and I'm Squirrel, and we're talking about the GT Distortion 2.0. It's one of my favorite bikes from GT. It's been around for three years now. Last year I picked it as my editor's choice for my favorite bike. It just, it really, it's it's a really unique and interesting bike. It's got uh, 114 millimeters of rear travel and 150 millimeters up front. It's 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 kind of a bike that transcends three different categories: XC, trail, and all mountain. Um, do you guys agree with me with that? I think we even thought it had a, transcends a few more categories. Yeah, so Kyle Strait and Cam McCall doing uh, slope style and do a slalom on it. It's it's a very versatile bike. It's what is it that makes it versatile? What is it that makes it so great? Though? I think that's it's, that's what. Yeah, I, I I think it has to do with the the stoutness of the frame and the the angles. The the, the head angle is 66 and a half degrees. But it's that it's that kind of geometry we're saying for for this category we're in the trail, but it's quite radical geometry um, for this category, and I think it's quite brave that GT have done this. It's a risk. The, the, it's one of those bikes that is not, it's not for everyone. I think everyone could find something they would love in it. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's for, and this, I'm, I'm gonna total, I'm stroking my ego here because I loved it too, but it's for a more refined, maybe more, um, maybe more technically adept rider. Somebody yeah. who, who, who isn't looking for something <clears throat> that's six and six, just so that they can plow over fields of rocks. I mean, we even found that it, it was a little more likely to pinch flat if you try and do that. Um, it's for a more nuanced kind of ride. If you, uh, it, it, it loves getting up on that back wheel. I mean, yeah. the, the one of the, uh, the courses we rode it on had a couple little drops. Slow speed, you could just, just pop it on that back wheel and drop off the stuff. Uh, I mean, and I think that's thanks partially to the, to the geometry, but mostly to that unheard of travel combination. I mean, you, you couldn't just take a, a you know, 100, 120 mil bike and slap a six inch fork on it and have it feel like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, they built it from the ground up to be what it is. The, there are un unfortunately a few downsides to this bike. Um, one is it's a bit heavy. It's 33 pounds, uh, which is, you know, for a, a 26 inch bike in this category, it's, it's, it's a bit of a pig, but it doesn't, it doesn't pedal like it's 33 pounds. It's got a really efficient rear suspension. Um, really quick, most of that weight, uh, because of the iDrive, uh, a lot of that weight is down there right by the cranks. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so when you die, when you do throw it around, it doesn't feel quite as heavy. As yeah. yeah. And, the few, and things like the tires, it's got heavy tires on. Yes. Yeah, Single ply, uh, Minions, 230. Two, okay, that's heavy, that's risky, but it was really heavy. 